So here we have a more typical case. This is the file HTML handlers. And we have the more typical case here of a of generating a page using the rest of the web framework. Uh, you'll notice that we have a handler. The handler uh, sends this, this is a, an abstract path slash page demo and uh, that's going to send us to page demo. Page demo then takes a uh, then takes a request and uh, in this case we don't need the request so we're not going to do anything with it we ignore it but we're going to call reply HTML page which does a lot of the heavy lifting for us of generating the page it will generate the headers it will uh, assemble the body and it actually does quite a bit more so in some more detail uh, this is going to be the HTML generation sequence uh, the HTTP request will come in it'll pass through HTTP dispatch which will generate a request of the request list and figure out which handler predicate to call based on the handler definitions and then call the handler predicate. That's pretty much what we've already seen. Um, the next thing that usually happens is any real back-end work. Uh, you'll want to extract the parameters from the param from the object or from the request object. You'll want to do whatever it's supposed to be doing on the back end. And then finally we want to uh, generate the HTML page. Now Prolog web framework kind of depends on um, uh, de depends on using something I call termerized HTML. This is basically HTML, but it's been converted into a form that's a nested set of lists and compound terms that is much easier for Prolog to work with, and it's also a much more powerful language. Uh, than raw HTML. And so we'll we'll look at how at termerized HTML in a moment. But for the moment let's just assume we got um, a piece of HTML for in this case for the head and the body. Um, and that will be converted actually to a list of tokens uh, from this termerized form. And then it will be styled. You can, you can set up a uniform styling so you don't have to do it for every page. Um, it, we are very used to, in the web world, generating things in the order they go out the port, which was fine back in the old days when you were likely to be sending a page that was bigger than you could assemble in memory. These days that's just not so much of a problem. And... Um, so, but of course the whole system is set up to do it that way. So, uh, we have this handy tool called Mailman. Mailman will allow you to generate something in one place and send it to another. Uh, the last thing we'll do is, as, after we've figured out what pieces, uh, what pieces of, of real HTML we want, uh, we're going to format it. Uh, and then we're going to, uh, actually we're going to uh, interpret it as a CGI document. So we, there may be some CGI headers, but other than that, we're simply going to send it, uh, send it out. 